Okay then, guys. What is up? It is I, Jay Papier, with a, a kind of a, a short let's play, let's say, because this is not really a big game. Uh, we are going to be doing, uh, because we are reaching October and the 50th anniversary of the original film, we're going to do the Texas Chainsaw Massacre for the Atari 2600. Uh, based on the 1974 film, uh, this game came out in 1983 and was very controversial by Wizard Video Games, along with their video game version of Halloween, which is based on the 1978 film. So, with this Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, we're going to um, go through the game. Uh, it isn't big, it's only short, so don't expect this video to be like hours long, not even long as the film, but we're going to start off and yeah, prepare to have annoying noises and all that because this game has a lot. Uh, if I can try and get out. Uh, so I assume we play as Leatherface here and we press the button to you know, change the sword and we go up to these girls and then boom, we basically kill them. Uh, now obviously it doesn't look as graphic as the movie because obviously it's on a really crap system. Um, plus 1983 was the year of the video game crash, so uh, uh, I can't move. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, for some reason I sometimes can't move, but most of the time I can. I don't know why, uh, but. Yeah, this game was very controversial when it came out, um, and it had poor sales along with the Halloween. The Halloween one was also controversial as well, because uh, at the time they would think this as video game violence. Technically, it is, but not as much. Uh, come on. Oh, boy. Okay, there we go. I guess technically it is, but... When you compare it to video games nowadays, they would be way more graphic than this, but yeah. Uh, if I can actually get off some... I don't know why, sometimes you can't move. I don't know what it is that makes you unable to move. Okay, I think that's meant to be... I think that's meant to be a wheelchair. I think that's meant to be, like, the wheelchair character from the movie. Um... And I think these girls are meant to be like the, the, the other characters from the movie. I don't know. Uh, I think they are. Um, and I think that house is meant to be where Loverface lives. Um, I'm, surprised it, I'm surprised this game is mostly just chasing with the chainsaw though. It, and it doesn't have like any like any of the cannibalistic scenes <laughs> at all. Uh, I guess that counts as the amount of time we can chase these. Come on, come on, there we go. <laughs> he looks nothing like Leatherface either. It's It just looks like an ordinary old man. <laughs> come on. Why can't I kill, why can't I cut you? Come on. Come on, there we go. <laughs> can I get you? Uh, no. Oh, what's happening? I've been kicked. And is that it? Because uh, I just closed the software down. Because I've set. Because I'm playing this on Stella. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, I just rebooted the game. I got back to the tile screen. So. Um, I need to be on the window itself, okay. Uh, so yeah, this this was pretty much made, uh, I guess, uh, I guess because the movie was so popular back in the 70s, uh, and so they wanted to try and make a game about it and, and think it could sell well. Uh, but it didn't, it didn't sell well, uh, and thus, um, and thus, the, and thus, and thus this game... Um, I guess I guess it's pretty much a collector's item nowadays because they're very hard to find, especially since the video game crash of A3, uh, 
uh, with uh, one of the worst Atari games, E.T., which is based on the 82 movie of the same name. Um, but, yeah. Um, but, yeah, this... The, like, aside from the title and the concept of the game, nothing related to uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is in this game at all. Uh, too much. Uh, like... Because didn't they forget about the cannibalism part? Because that that's also the theme of Texas Chainsaw Massacre of every film in the series. Uh, but yeah, because I mean, because I mean, Texas Chainsaw Massacre the the films themselves they range from good to bad. I, I like the, the 1974 one was uh, great. It's considered one of the best horror films. Uh, I liked Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 as well, uh, from 1986. I thought that was quite good as well, the one with Dennis Hopper. And then, um, Leatherface Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 was just god-awful. Uh, but I thought it was alright. And then, uh, the fourth one, uh, The Return of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, also known as TCM The Next Generation. Uh, not to be- yes, I know, they plagiarized Star Trek with a name, but it has nothing to do with that, seriously. I actually quite liked that one, that one's actually my favourite. Uh, and then, then you get to the remake in 2003, uh, which, um, although, um, although, it, although it looks, although it's impressive, but it's still considered one of the worst. And then you have its prequel, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning, which is uh, about the same, um, and all that, um. But I do, I do like how... Oh, oh, it does boot us back to the title screen, okay. But I do like how the remake and the beginning has actor Arlie Ermey. He's the same guy who played the sergeant in Full Metal Jacket. And he voiced that green soldier in Toy Story. Uh, and um, and then uh, Texas Chainsaw is the next instalment, uh, which was in 2013. Um, or Texas Chainsaw 3D, as it's most commonly called. Uh, that one I actually quite liked as well. It's still not as good as the original, but still. And then you have the prequel Leatherface, which is absolutely brilliant, uh, from 2017. But then we get to the Netflix film, which is just called Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Awful. Awful, awful, awful. God, it's awful. But this game is worse than the films, if you can believe it. But yes, that is what the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game is on the Atari 2600. They haven't made another Texas Chainsaw Massacre game uh, in years now. The latest one we got was in 2023, uh, which is just called the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Chainsaw being two words instead of one word, because uh, that's how the first film was spelled. Uh, not just officially, but also when it was trademarked. Uh, but yeah, the 2023 one, I've not played that one yet, but it looks very impressive and much better than this. So, yeah. So I don't know if there are going to be new installments for Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the future, but I do hope to see more of it because it's a really amazing franchise, despite not that many films existing. But... I'm going to leave it here for today, guys. It's a very short video, so uh, that that has been the Texas Chainsaw Massacre on the Atari 2600. Uh, one of the worst games on the system, or one of the worst games ever. So I should see you guys next time with something else. This is IJ and Pavel. See you guys next time. Now I'm going to bring a chainsaw and kill you all. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. I should see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>